At the meeting held in the conference hall of the Office of the Prime Minister, Education Minister and First Lady Janet Museveni with her finance counterpart Matia Kasaija sought to bring to an end the strike by non-teaching staff of the six public universities. The Education Minister urged the staff to go back to work as the government addresses their grievances. Let's agree that you go back to work. Give us time to go back to work. Let us try to sort out all these problems. And all of us are anxious to make sure that we get lasting solutions. But the striking civil servants who are demanding the fulfillment of a presidential pledge to enhance their salaries didn't seem impressed. They questioned the logic by the government in enhancing the salaries of the teaching staff and living them out, thereby causing a salary disparity among the employees. How did they reach at enhancing teaching staff? And President Yoweri Museveni pledged the money in question during a meeting with the non-teaching staff last year as they threatened to strike. In the meeting, it was agreed that the salaries would be raised by the beginning of this financial year with arrears and the total was 56 billion shillings. That in the two months, which is not such a long time, this part of your increment will come. And then you allow this time for the Ministry of Public Service to study your consensus note, please, so that it can be included in the next financial year if it is agreed on. If you say that we don't have enough honorable minister, where did we get the results to enhance our colleagues the second time when for us we are still at zero. What I want to move out of this whole week is only that piece of paper, a directive directing our uh, accounting officers to pay that enhancement now that uh, Barara has been able to do that. This is a process and we must work it together as Ugandans. Go and write a directive to the accounting officers to pay us our money for this month because it is already released. We don't even know where it is because people have got salaries without that enhancement which you which have released. So after this meeting, we expect a directive from you to them to pay. You must allow things to work, otherwise everything will stop. The government had suggested that the arrears be paid in October as the financial year gets into the second quarter and the salary enhancement be considered next financial year. But the staff rejected that offer. I cannot go beyond that. No, I would be wanting to tell you right. I will not go to do that for sure. The government is not seeing that we are angered. We must speak and show them that down there we are angered. The meeting hit a deadlock with the non-teaching staff standing their ground and insisting that the industrial action that has lasted a week now would continue until their demands are met. For us, we are going to take their positions as government to the general assemblies in our respective universities. But meanwhile, the status quo of the industrial action is, um, uh, re remains. We must keep our, our tools down. An assembly of known teaching staff from the six public universities will convene again this week and decide the final course of action. If the strike continues, the first-year students may not report as scheduled this weekend as the new academic year begins.